This is University's West webinar about the Masters in English, and I'm very happy, happy to welcome our speakers, which are Thomas and Giovanni. I hope you enjoy it. Welcome, uh, Thomas. Okay, yes. Thank you so much, Lucy. And uh, well, once again, we are so happy to be here. Uh, the time is uh, six o'clock as well here in Sweden and Trollhättan, and you will uh, learn how to say the word Trollhättan later, I think. So my name is Thomas. I'm director of international affairs at the University of West, and we are so happy to see so many of you here uh, following us, us this evening. And I will not speak so much uh, because I have uh, my colleague, Professor Giovanni, that will uh, go through the a presentation and I will fill in a bit and then we will end up with a question session. We will answer all your questions that you will have. So I leave the word here to uh, Professor Giovanni and you can introduce yourself and start the presentation. Uh, yeah. Okay, Giovanni, yes, you can yeah. start now. Thank you, Thomas, for the short introduction. And it's a pleasure to stay here again with you, Lucy, uh, for the webinar from University of West. So I try to be faster uh, because we have more time to, to listen your questions, your doubts, something like that. But we have many slides because it, in the end, we share this slide by Lucy, they, she sent to you, and we have many informations that you have more details and you contact us after this webinar. It's a pleasure to reply all the questions, all issues about that. So let's start. We talk about studying Sweden, study and University West. I, sh I prepare the plan of my we the, our webinar. We talk about why studying Sweden, University of West and the, our programs and services that we, we have conditions to offer to you when if you decide to study University of West. First, the geography location. Sweden uh, located in the Scandinavia, Scandinavia, and Scandinavia, uh, it's a region that we have Sweden, Denmark, Norway, Iceland, and Finland. So if you check uh, Sweden as an option to study there. It's an innovative country, one of the, the companies that they have more multinational companies spread around the world. It's safe, modern, and organized. We are internationally renowned education system, respect for civil freedom, equal and diversity, no language, language barrier. Everybody speaks English, like Thomas and the majority of the people in Sweden. Um, Sweden, that you see, that you can see in our last slide, uh, we have a prime location, mainly the city called Trohetan. I spent one year to, to talk Trohetan in Swedish, right, Thomas? <laughs> that you know. is excellent. So Trohetan, <laughs> it's perfect. Taxonike. <laughs> And we have uh, Sweden, it's an interesting country and a diff, uh, interesting culture. You need, um, you have condition to learn something like uh, the Swedish way of life, lokom. Lokom means just the right um, uh, form, the right thing to, time, to make everything. You have time to study, you have time to to exercise, you have time to take care of your life, something like that. So it's a beautiful, uh, Sweden has a beautiful natural with a rich history. It's a home to international business. I will explain uh, when we talk about the companies that they are, uh, they have a partnership with uh, our university and we have an excellent public transportation, transport system. So let's see, it's happening now. That's okay. If I were you as a student on this moment that we have a coronavirus as a pandemia, we have some questions uh, about that. First, where can I study abroad in 2021? 
we I have some restrictions of protocols to follow that the place that I choose to study abroad? We I have classes on campus? How is the country's lifestyle with coronavirus? So the last, what can I expect from there? The new normal. So the first thing that you are very, very, very welcome to study in Sweden. So I have some news that during the pandemic, uh, international students numbers up 13% in Sweden because uh, one of the reasons that Sweden not adopt the lockdown. Sweden did not adopt lockdown as a procedure to avoid coronavirus. However, we are not irresponsible and we adopt the protocols to live with the disease until the arrival uh, of a vaccine. So, if you have some doubts about how can you study in Sweden, how can you live in Sweden, this is the professor and Mr. Tegnell, we're responsible for the uh, <clears throat> response of the coronavirus in Sweden. And this is a famous phrase that he mentioned for the Swedish, Swedish people. This is not a disease we are going to get right off. So we need to keep at the manageable level. That's the point. So I, I, I'm sure that you, in Sweden, you don't have a lockdown without economic collapse, social distance based on individual responsibility. You will have a life closer to the normal and we, we have classes on campus, mainly in University West. And about University West, we have a team that responsible for a crisis, crisis management. And we adopt all the protocols that Swedish government requests for us. Thomas lives in Sweden, he's in Trohetan. Can you talk a little bit more about that, Thomas, for us? Yes, I can say, talk a little about how it was for students that started uh, this fall, fall semester of 2020. And for all students, we have said that uh, all our new international students were welcome to start up at campus uh, and they will be as well for spring semester. But if they feel that they don't want, it's also possible to study digital. So it's a hybrid. So you can be at campus and study or you can be at home and study uh, the digital way. Uh, and that's a really, really good thing because it's uh, all classrooms, the whole university is so technical, developed and equipped now. So it's good possibilities to do that. Thanks, Thomas, your concern, your participation. It's very important for us. So continue our, our webinar. Let's talk about a little bit Trohetan. Trohetan, look at this picture. It's a beautiful place, very famous for a summer place, a tourist place. So, it located in a prime location in Sweden because it's closer for the biggest uh, cities um, spread around the Scandinavia. If the distance travel by car, you if you live in Trohetta and study in University West, you are nearby in Gothenburg. Look at this time to uh, to the distance between Gothenburg and Trohetta, Copenhagen. Oslo and the Stockholm as well. So, located on the west coast of sulfur in uh, southern Sweden, we have 50,000, 55,000 people living there, surrounded by a beautiful nature. We have many parks, forests, waterfalls, rivers, all need is closed by. We don't have traffic there and overcrowded subways. And it, the, mo the most important there that they had the course for some big and high tech industries. I can show you uh, some companies that we have in Trojetan. GKN, Aerospace, NIVS, a National Electri Electric Vehicle Sweden. It's a Swedish Chinese multinational. They bought the old factory, uh, belongs to the Saab not Sabi, Sabi in Swedish. And now this is the headquarters for electric cars for China. And nearby Volvo cars and Scania. 
Let's talk about Universal West. We are a new university. We, we are young. A modern university founded in 1990. The Universal West has about 15,000 students and 265 employees. We have values as inclusiveness, proactivity, and crazy enough. If you check our website, we put crazy enough means we are innovative. We like to change the regular form to educate. And we use the work integrate learning. We believe that the knowledge is acquired everywhere, not just in your, your, inside of the university. I can ask, explain you after that. We, have, we are small and very informal. We, you can talk to me, Giovanni, if I teach you for you there, you can talk to me, hi Giovanni, not Professor Giovanni. Uh, and it's the same. We respect the equal position, okay? Research conducted in cooperation with some around the community. We have many projects in research and you can make your thesis, um, some courses, projects, courses, inside the comp companies, in these companies, and you have a high chance to get a job after your graduation, uh, after your program. So <clears throat> we are international. We have some programs taught in English, undergraduate two and master we have 14, but we offer 10 um, English programs uh, on campus. We have exchange partners in many universities spread around Europe, Asia, Australia, Africa, North America, South America, in Brazil, there I was born. We are a member of the European University Association and the other programs of scholarships and exchange associations. So the campus and facilities, we locate in downtown in Trahetan close to Central Station. Let's see this. I, I prepare this slide by Google Maps. And here we are in West, University West is here. And if you walk to direct for Central Station, suppose that you want to make, uh, to go to Gothenburg to enjoy a weekend, for instance, you spend just seven minutes by walk. It's nearby for many things. We have a beautiful river. Me and Thomas, every day when I was in, I was in Trohetan, we train here. Thomas walk and I run. <laughs> so uh, we have, uh, that I told you, we believe that the knowledge are quite outside of the university. And we have a science park that many companies that we have a partnership they invest in a high-tech laboratories and um, work about open innovation with our students. We have a service center to support employees, students, and professors as well. We have a state-of-the-art library, beautiful library. We have a lecture and study rooms equipped with the last technology, 12 computer rooms, and 30 study landscapes. Guys, we'll talk about Innovation Science Park. This is the heart of our researchers. We have condition to have a tight relationship with the director of the companies. And you will have many practice uh, courses in our labs. We don't have labs inside of the university. We have our practices, classes in Science Park, one of Sweden's newest and largest labs, okay? We have a welding, thermal spray, additive manufacturing means 3D printing, machine and robots, home of our research. Here, when I share these slides, we have a, a small video. I will not pass this on this moment because we, we spent something like four minutes. But here, let's see. This is Stefan Forsman. 
he is respond he works in GKN Aerospace. We have a lab that we have some projects with GKN. GKN is uh, manufacturing some components for aircrafts, jets, and rockets as well. One of the biggest clients, you know, NASA. So he responsible for the team that involves in research and technology. And we have many projects with them in University of West in Science Park. So we are innovative, international, and market focus. Why? Oh, sorry. We have some projects, something like uh, with the thermal spray can provide a better bone implants. We have uh, electrical vehicle as a new program. The new program demanded by the local industries. And we use it, virtual reality as a tool for education. For instance, we have a partnership with the company that's responsible for trains in Sweden and they train the drivers and train hosts in various work situations that can be difficult to dangerous, uh, difficult or dangerous to practice in real life. We have this project with the SJ. I don't know in, in Swedish, maybe it's Totten's Jorge Borga. My Swedish improvement sometimes. So this is, this is the guy. This is the CEO of GKN. And this is a new that he said, I want more students from University of West to study with us. I want involving more research, innovative and research with the students from West because they have new programs that are very interesting for us, like uh, additive manufacturing. And this is Mr. Jose Guerrero. He's the CEO of NAVES and he said, we are always open to and interested in working with students and research at University of West. I didn't see, I don't see this. They said this. Be a research of University of West. I have uh, some um, uh, witness uh, about uh, some alumni that they have big projects in our university. We have Andreas. Andreas, in his doctoral thesis, Andreas presents new possibilities for more effective use of laser metal powder deposition, LMPD, in the aerospace industry, involve a special project with GKN. We have another one, a French uh, student that uh, Alexandre, Alexandre from France, in a just project course in automation, he presented his ideas in how uh, ideas in a big comp company, Gothenburg, on how could automate mount of light on heavy vehicles. And last but not least, we have Mrs. Tahina Hazas. Okay, she opens up entirely new opportunities to make air and spacecraft engineers more environmentally friendly. This is our alumni on this moment, they work in these companies. Let's talk about pro our programs that we can offer to you because we have in English concerning these programs. This is a list that you can check all uh, our program list. And in blue, we have the code when you apply for this program we have this code. Don't worry to memorize this because when you choose apply for the program that you choose, you go directly for um, study admission website and appear automatically the space that you need to fill it up this, this code. So let's talk about these programs. Uh, master in finance, the people that are uh, interested in this uh, master program, the career focus in financial analyst, okay, and destructing content based off the CFA Institute. Who's CFA Institute? CFA Institute, they are responsible to 
for the accreditation process for financial analysts. If you want to talk, uh, if you want to work in a stock exchange, Europe, Brazil, South America, Latin America, you need to, uh, to, to get this accreditation. CFA spreads are many counts around the world. And in this master, you have condition to prepare for this exam. It's amazing. You will have a degree, master degree, and prepare for yourself for this exam. So, and we have a tight relationship with, with institutes and you can participate of the challenge that uh, with many universities abroad in Nova York in the NASDAQ. So this is a admission requirement. I will not really explain this because I prefer to me and Thomas um, answer your questions about that in our question sections, right? So we have a master international business focus in international globalizing practices. We have four pillars for that. Management, marketing, finances, and accounting. And involve some companies, not so in Sweden, because Trohetan located nearby of a cross-border companies that we have in Norwegian. So I, I call these uh, Swedish Norwegian companies that we have a uh, partnership and they have international operations that you can participate by researchers or projects. We have a master in, in IT and management and very interesting program because after two courses, basic courses, you can choose one of three specializations below in advanced software development, virtual and augmented reality, the virtual, reali uh, virtual reality, and the IT strategy and architecture. And we have another one very interesting. For, in this case, we have just for two years, we don't have a program with a one year for this, this program because a special program in the work integrated political studies, focus in political studies. And we have a tight relationship uh, with uh, University of Western Cape and the second year, you, yeah, we offer to you an internship there that you can make internship in Africa uh, with our uh, partnership in South Africa. So the new program, uh, I need to be honest, I like too much. If I have, um, if I were young, definitely I will apply for this program is amazing. First, it's a strong and promising job in market. Uh, some um, demand for a cast, they, they realize the companies looking for uh, University West said, please, we need a program that specializes some engineers for electric cars, vehicles. Oh, really? We are open-minded for that. We start to plan it. Uh, in 2019 and release it on this moment in the middle of pandemia. It's amazing. Why? Because the, this market needs at least 10,000 engineers with expertise in electric vehicles, okay? Our team, Per Nilan said, we have developed two new programs and several freestanding courses in close collaboration with companies like Nibs, Volvo Cars, and Scania. These companies demanded for us, for us, we need this program. Do you, do you realize that you have a condition after this program to open not a door, but a gate to get a job in one of these multinational companies? We can offer this opportunity for you. So concerning this program, uh, of course, was designed in collaboration with automotive industry. We have a research technology in these areas in blue, okay? And this degree qualify you to hold positions such as component responsible engineer, electric, electric machine designer, hybrid company rig test engineer, electric hybrid vehicle system design engineer. And potential empl employers, you have condition to work there because we have a partnership there. We not want that you work there, but we have condition to open this network for you. Names, Volvo Cars, Volvo AB, CAVT, 
are located near Invest West and they are our partnership. Master in Manufacturing Engineering, close, uh, cooperate close with industry, with the, something like the companies that I told you in my last slide. Uh, focusing operations management, machine welding, thermal spray, and robotics. We have one year and do another program with two years. More advanced. What's the difference? In the programs that we have two years, we offer industrial placement. This, this is a project that we offer to you, opportunity to make an internship in one of our partner companies and partner universities, like in Europe, Asia, South America, uh, and they, ha they have conditioned us and these partnerships uh, offer to you a support to make your final thesis. And this is the, another one, it's new and it, well, it is an amazing program. We have a master in metal additive manufacturing or we means the 3D printing. Uh, it's a strong, strong job in marketing. Additive manufacturers predicted to grow from a global market over $5 billion just in 2019. But we, have, we estimate that it's doubling in two years, uh, something like $11 billion. It's a very nice marketing and new, and we offer to you opportunity to make a master degree in this. So, design with partnership with the local Swedish industries. We have a practical experience through the group individual projects in close collaboration with the leaders of the industry. The second year, we don't have for one year, right, Thomas? Just two years, because it's a requirement to make an internship in one of our partnerships spread around the Europe, Asia, South America. And after uh, this degree qualify you to hold positions such as manufacturing technician, materials and manufacturing engineer, uh, research assistant, quality, uh, quality uh, mechanical design engineer, and the TV manufacturing. And this is our partner companies. In, if you choose for a metal, we have these companies to open this network for you. Pounder producers, we have these companies, equipment, hot is a static pressing. We have this and software as well. So we have a huge background to offer to you opportunity to have a global career in the future. And we have a master in robotics and automation. This program is very interesting as well because the program uh, aimed the, at the era of digitalization from the perspective of Industry 4.0. For instance, we have Scania from Oscar Schoen. They have a smart factory that we have a, a, a partnership with them that the 100% of the manufacturing there totally, totally, uh, we don't have uh, uh, human being there, totally uh, industry 4.0. And we have a tight relationship with this, with this company. And they said, please help us to improve more technology, but not so more technology, but people prepared to manage the new era of industry. It's really, really, really good. We have for one year, and in one year, you, you can follow the career as automation specialist, but with two years, a research and development, not so in, in, inside of the industry, but universities and research centers as well. So there are the mission requirements. Thomas can talk this better than me later, but previous education requirement, English language proficiency requirement, and a letter of motivation. This is example that the test that we accept Okay, Yelp, TOEFL, and the minimal, minimal required scores. And you cannot forget that you need to feel, fulfill these grades in a writing test. 
the application time is running it started on october 16 we have a deadline january 15 and we can accept late applications but it's an exception depending of your case if you have some problems about the application from uh, Swedish Institute, we are 100% available to help you, okay? So about the tuitions, we, we have in our website the amount precisely per program, but uh, you should to invest something like 100,000 between 130,000 Swedish krona per year. We have the same amount in euros here and you need to pay the application fee it's a pre-requirement in in sweden this money is not for us and we have everybody asking ah do you have scholarships yes we have scholarships but no full scholarship we have a scholarship west university west scholarship that you we you have a 25 percent waiver for on campus programs, and Thomas can talk this more. Uh, the Swedish Institute has a scholarship. Uh, they have full scholarships, but depends on the country that you, you live. And you, I kindly ask you to consult this link and uh, read uh, about this scholarship. If you choose to study in Sweden, mainly in the rest of West in Trohetan, the living cost there approximately 700 between 800 euros per month includes house internet something like that guys for your service and this service we offer just for fee pay students free health and accident insurance supporting a range of accommodation don't worry about that we, it's very hard to look for some accommodation in Sweden, but we have a team that prepare everything for you. Uh, you, can, you can be a membership in the student union. We have a pick it up service at airports in the region on a river day. Please check in our website uh, the details. For instance, we cannot pick you up in Stockholm, it's too far. So check the locations, check the time, check the schedule. And we have a general introduction for all international students. It's amazing. And definitely one of the things you need to visit IKEA. If you not go to IKEA and not meet some meatballs, you will never, never stay in Sweden. And we have a Guinness counseling, career counseling. It's amazing. It's including your tuitions. It's very nice. They, we have conditions to give you support. Ah, oh, I'm so confused about my career. <clears throat> we have support. We have conditions to support you about that. IT support, free Wi-Fi everywhere on campus. And we offer to you academic support. If you have some difficulty about writing English, math, something like that, we have conditions to support to you about that. Guys, Thank you very much. In Swedish, we call Taxomike, and we are available for your questions. And I hope that now I not cross the line of the time in my webinar. Thank you so much, guys. Thank you very much, Giovanni. You did great, actually. Uh, it's good. We have a lot of time to talk about, uh, to answer all of the questions. I just want to know if maybe Thomas wants to add anything or should we just jump to the Q&A? Uh, we can go to question. I can maybe can add just for like, we talked about the tuition fee and uh, for EU students, they are like a Swedish student, so they don't pay any tuition fees. It's important for them to know and no application fees. Yes, I think that's yeah. a very good point because we have a few Italians and yeah. Spanish yeah. that are connected, so it's good for them to know. Yes. Take note of that. Um, Otherwise, the presentation was pure magic. So I thank you so much, Giovanna. And maybe you can stop share your screen so we come up in. Uh, yeah, that would be great. Um, a couple of things before we start with the Q&A section, everybody. 
Remember that you need to submit them in the Q&A section so I can see them and we can answer and make it public to everyone. And another thing that you ask too is if you're going to receive this presentation, yes, we can send you the, the PDF um, probably tomorrow with other relevant information about University West. So keep an eye out for um, our email um, tomorrow. Okay, we, we are done, perfect. Uh, so please uh, send in anything that you want to know, curiosities, even curiosities about Sweden, we will be glad to answer. Let me see. Shall we start with the bell of the ball, Thomas and Giovanni, which is your new course in uh, electrical um, vehicle engineering. A lot of people are asking about it. Jawad, for example, would like to know how to get admitted specifically in this program. Um, some people are asking which type of bachelors do they need to have. So can we give them uh, yeah. more info? Uh, the background for a student besides the English uh, is that the student need to have a Bachelor of Science in Mechanical Engineering. So many, many prospective students think that we require um, in electrical engineering, but it's mechanical engineers we look at in this program. Okay, mm -hmm. that answers also Adolfo's yes. question. Yeah. Can I read yeah. yeah. this? Uh, it's it's true, and we cannot forget that uh, the for this science degree must be compromised at minimum of uh, five CTS in programming and fifteen uh, ECTS in mathematics if you have a degree as a mechanical engineer, right, Thomas? Yeah, yeah. Okay, so I hope that those who are interested in the program took note of it. Um, Thomas, what about someone who has a, a background in, uh, where was her question? Medical field, which program could uh, hmm. uh, fit him or her? I'm sorry to say that we don't have any anything in the uh, medical field. And not it's not many programs in Sweden in general in master level in the medical field, because uh, since the national language in Sweden is Swedish, of course, everybody speaks English, but especially in the healthcare, they need to be able to speak Swedish. So most of the programs is in Swedish. Maybe you have some, but then you need to look at study in Sweden and the search by subject, and then you can see. Okay. Yeah. I was also answering Saidi, who maybe didn't hear our answer about having studied mechanical engineering before for the electrical vehicle program. <coughs> Um, we talked about the fees, we talked about the scholarships, um, also about the admission requests. Um, Matteo uh, needs some information about the rooms for students. Where can he find them? How much do they cost? Websites that you can suggest for someone to look a place to live? Yeah, we, as uh, Giovanna said, we arrange, uh, provide accommodation for all students that apply for it in time. And uh, now we have different options. We have apartments. Uh, you, you can have your own apartment. It's like, uh, like how long can it be? 30 minutes uh, walk from the university. Or otherwise, we have dorms uh, really close to the university by the, the train station. It's five minutes from the university. So we have different options. And price is also different. So it's everything from... 2,500 euro up to 500, two, yeah, 250 euro up to 500 euro a month, I would say. Okay. Yeah. Let me see what else do we Within have? two years, we will have our own accommodation at our campus because we will do a big project with uh, look, uh, re renovating the new university, but and also build that university campus. That will be so nice. That will be nice, yes. yeah. Um, did we talk about the, the CGPA or the marks requirement? No, I can ready? mention a bit about that. The most important thing is that you have the educa previous education shall be in the right field. If you have that 
And if you have the English, English test, or if you are from an English speaking nation, then you don't need a test, of course. Uh, then you will most probably be admitted. The GPA is important, mainly, of course, it's good to have a good GPA, it means that you're a good student, and then you manage uh, the education maybe in a better way. But GPA is important, especially when you apply for our University West scholarships. Then we look at the GPA, and we look at the letter of motivation as well. The most important thing, bachelor in the right field. Perfect. Yes. Okay. Um, does one need to know already what they want to research in order to join a master program? No, that is, uh, you don't need to either. Because as Giovanna said, especially in the engineering programs, then you meet so many interesting professors, you meet the companies at the production technology center, and then you create your own network, and then you can build in during the program and find the right field to have you researching. Okay. So that it's like almost a blank paper and then fill it with everything when it comes to speed. Okay. Um, uh, Giovanni Flavia sent uh, a thank you for the presentation. Uh, she has a question about the English tests. Um, is there a waiver for students that have done their undergraduate degree in English? Yes, it, yes, that is possible. But we can't say in general how, for which countries and so on, but that you will see at the admission page. You can search by, by country-wise as well. So. Okay. Um, what about uh, students with a chemistry background? Do you have anything? That's a bit harder as well. And in Sweden, I should say it's mainly in the big universities, I would say, Stockholm University, Gothenburg University, Lund, Uppsala. They are more in these fields. We are. Okay. Okay. Uh, Rosario um, wrote uh, wanting to know the requirements for the master in IT and management. What mm -hmm. does one have? Uh, what does. What, do we need to study before uh, for the master in IT and management? Then you need a bachelor of science with a major in informatics, information systems. Okay. Or, yeah. So and, uh, and the same for political studies, should I have studied political science? Uh, it is a bit broader. That one is a bit broader. It is like, I can look here, it should be a bachelor degree within the field of social science or equivalent. So it's it's not so specific, it's a bit broader. It's, uh, it's more flexible. Yeah, um, yeah. Thank you for your answer, no problem. Keep sending the questions in. Uh, remember, yeah. if you have any questions about your background, um, we will try to answer, but then I'll, I'll move forward with the more general questions so that everyone can uh, receive all the information. Um, how many hours can the students work legally in uh, Sweden? Yes, that is also a good question. Uh, with, uh, when you have, you can work unlimited number of hours for that visa say, but it's not possible to do it because you will study 100%. So then it, uh, but you're allowed to work as much as you can. Uh, but the main reason is to study. And the second thing is it can be hard to find an extra job besides studying, especially during first semester, I would say. Then of course it can be a bit easier when you have your network and so on and you're allowed to find a job. And also for the engineering programs, uh, for the good students, they have said that they will hire them and give them extra job as teacher assistants as well. Oh, cool. That's and during first and second year in the two year programs, they will have a paid internship as well, they will try to help out with that as well. So it's like pure magic that as well. <laughs> okay, um, let's move forward. Uh, Giovanni, would you like to add anything while I search? I can ask Giovanni one thing. Yes. <laughs> You're searching. Have you been eating any canelbulle? It's like cinnamon bun that Sweden is very famous for. Have you eaten so, I love it. I love this. Yes. I love this. 
Yes. And in Sweden, when you have your uh, cup of coffee and the cinnamon bun, it's a special name for that. So, you know, you know that, you know? Fika. Yes, fika. Then you sit down and take a fika with your friends or your colleagues and so on. It's a really, really nice way. And everybody in Sweden, Sweden is like closed between nine and 10, because then everybody sit and drink coffee or tea and having cinnamon buns. And that is true. That's very, that's very nice and very international, right, Thomas? So um, you have students from all over the world and also from different religion, uh, religions, yes. right? So everybody yes. is welcome at Trotoham, the city, and, but also... Yes. And that is also good, not only at the university, but in Sweden as a whole, in the whole society is really equal. So, and with respect of all religions and people from all cultures. And that's very important for us. Okay, hopefully everybody then will be eating those cinnamon buns yes. very soon. Um, yeah. Of course, respecting the social distance of one of meter. <laughs> yes. Um, Let's talk about uh, the, the, the whole COVID-19 situation, Giovanni and Thomas. Um, some countries are postponing the classes, postponing the diploma delivery. So what happens if one only has the, the, the transcripts of what they studied? Can they still apply? For uh, a master program, when you apply for that one, you don't need to be finished then you can complete with the final diploma before you start the program. So, and you have uh, almost a year, it's eight months, eight, nine months until the program starts. So, but we can admit the students just based on to the transcripts. So that's- Okay. Yeah. Um, it, it wasn't clear from before also, if you have, if, you, if they have to pass any test. No entrance tests, no, for the business school, no GMAT or GRE or anything like that. So. Okay, remember everyone that you, you need a motivation letter, right? Yeah. So Yes, it's good, and that's, especially, yeah, we require that. that. And that's also good with a CV if you apply for a scholarship. Mm -hmm. Or in the chat box that it was a question about the scholarship and you will need to apply for the scholarship in a separate application at our webpage. Uh, but uh, for all applicants, I will send out the link to all applicants and remind them. And then you need to have a program at University West as first choice as well in Sweden. If you apply for more programs in Sweden, it needs to be number one at University West. And we will have around, I think maybe, 60 University West scholarships this year, I hope. That covers 25% of the people. Okay. Um, Moise um, wrote that he has, uh, I think it's a he, uh, a bachelor in mechanical engineering, so he could apply to the bell of the ball uh, electrical vehicle master program. Um, Ugo studied uh, aeronautical engineering could he apply to any of the programs? I don't know. That is a bit specific, isn't it, Joanna? I'm not sure. So maybe, maybe Ugo, you can write directly to University West yes. and they yep. can check. Yep. Okay. Yep. What are the research opportunities? Can you mention a few that you, you've seen in the last year, Thomas? Yeah, for research after for PhD or? No, it's not specific for, for PhD. Just like? Just research opportunities. Okay. No, it is like we try to do it together with companies and that's a good thing because then it will be more, uh, more of a real thing that you do the research uh, together with companies that Giovanna mentioned in his presentation at the big companies in Trolletan, GKN and uh, NEVS. And then it's so close to Gothenburg, Sweden's second largest city where you have many, many big companies and small companies as well. So we try to connect it to, towards companies. Okay. What else? Uh, material science students or graduates can apply to the master in manufacturing engineering. Uh, yeah, it says, I think so, a Bachelor of Science in Mechanical Engineering, Manufacturing Engineering, Industrial Engineering, Material Science, and Engineering. That's then, perfect. Yeah. 
and in additive manufacturing as well. Yeah, yes, exactly. The new one in 3D printing. Okay, have you heard before of a process engineering? Is that production? Like production in Brazil, we have an engineering of production. Maybe, maybe the participants can give us more detail about it. Bachelor's degree in process engineering. We would need to check. Yeah. And if it is more specific, we will keep in touch with you so you can ask the questions as well. Exactly. Mm -hmm. uh, the most important that when we have these doubts concerning the engineers, you need to check our requirements and admission because they have some pre-requirements, a specific amount of CTS uh, program or a specific courses that you need to have your transcript transcript of a record in manufacturing engineer, industrial engineer, science engineering, right? This is the most yeah. important. We have yeah. the bachelors that we accept for application, but respect these pre-requirements concerning the amount of CTSs and the specific subjects and courses that you have in this transcript, right? Yeah. Okay. Let me see what else is here. Um, the, the, there are a couple of questions about the visa, how yeah. to get the visa, and um, how to coordinate the visa with the payment, with the first payment, okay. Thomas. Yeah. It is steps, it's, it's really, not really, but it's quite easy to get a residence permit in Sweden. Everything is online. You can uh, totally get it really fast. The only thing you will need is that you have been admitted to the program. So you need the letter of acceptance, of course. You need to have paid the first semester's tuition fee because otherwise you will not get a residence permit. So first semester tuition fee and the letter of acceptance. We have the insurance for you, so you don't need an extra insurance. And then you apply for it online. Some countries call in for an interview, so you need to come to the interview and then you get the residence. And in some countries as well, you need a visa to get into Sweden. Some countries not. Mm -hmm. I remember that Giovanni had a little document that was his yeah. uh, permit. Yes, UT card, the UT card. Yes, that you will need as well. Yes. So, so this, uh, this is where you're going to get yes. as a University West student. Yes. Okay. Um, Simona uh, is asking in more detail, how are Swedish people de dealing with the COVID situation? Society, yeah. friends. Can you give us an overview, Thomas, of what it is? Yeah, Sweden has not so far been locked down, uh, but we have had regulations and we have had advice from uh, our uh, governmental uh, organization called Folkhälso Institutet, the People's Health Institute. And uh, then it was like social distancing, of course, and that we shall not travel so much within the country. Then they opened up uh, during the fall and now they're closing. And the advice nowadays is you shouldn't travel so much and not be out so much in pubs and drink a lot of alcohol. <laughs> then it may be affect the social distancing. <laughs> um, but schools is open and uh, yeah, universities as well. So. Okay. All the respect we do. Yeah, so we hope that you're all doing well during this time. Giovanni, would you like to add uh, anything to what Thomas just uh, said? No, right? It's it was very clear. You can maybe say Folkhälso Institutet in Swedish. <laughs> okay. Um, there, there were a lot of questions, everyone, but we don't yeah. have uh, any time left, unfortunately. I will ask for those who couldn't, who didn't have their question answered, especially those who had um, concerns about their background and they're interested in a specific master to contact University West directly. Um, you will receive an email tomorrow with the presentation that you saw, uh, the context, and also very important information, for example, uh, where to apply and by when, okay? 
I will ask our speakers, Thomas and Giovanni, to just say some final words, any encouragement for our participants from all over the world. We had a little bit of everything from Asia, Europe, uh, Latin America. Yeah. yeah, I can say like, and I, I usually say this to uh, all uh, students that take the opportunity to travel abroad. You are here for a reason that you will maybe will have the idea to study abroad. And I think take that opportunity, even if it will not be Sweden and University West, go for it and it will open up everything, open your mind and you will have a network for life. So, and hopefully you will choose us, Sweden mm -hmm. and Sweden. So, you wanna? So nice, thank you so much. It was a pleasure to make this webinar. And uh, I agree totally with Thomas, but for me, University West, it's not so that you reach a degree. We will have opportunity to open your network, to know companies, big companies involved in many projects that offer to you a high chance to get a job in a company that offer to you a global career and you have condition to offer to you this opportunity. If I were young, I will, get, I will ride your, this opportunity. You are quite young, Joanna. Quite young. <laughs> yes, it, it's a, there's always time. There is always yes. time. Yes. Um, so I want to thank our speakers. You heard from Thomas and Giovanni, they both uh, represent University West. And I also want to ask our attendees, uh, as fans, just the role that, that they are listening from Pakistan. I'm guessing you're with someone. Um, I want to also thank those who have connected from Costa Rica, Panama, I've seen Peru, Zambia, Philippines. So um, I just want to say also on behalf of Dog City that we appreciate that you took the time to join this webinar. Uh, I know for some of you it's very early or very late. So uh, just know that it's really appreciated. We hope that you enjoyed it. And uh, uh, tomorrow you receive an email with uh, as a thank you for participating in University's West webinar. Let us know what you thought. Send us a message on the chat or maybe on WhatsApp. We would love to hear from you. Um, shall we say uh, taxamiket? Is is that is that it? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Taxamiket. Taxamiket, and uh, hope to see you all very soon. Bye. Bye bye.